in the North Pole. Trying to deliver lumps of coal uh, in a stocking to the Prime Minister's uh, residence. And, uh, of course, they, they're probably not going to let us get very, very close. And uh, we have people willing to risk arrest to uh, get the coal as close as we can. We train carefully. We have uh, in nonviolent uh, action, and uh, the action itself is very uh, non-aggressive. And, and our first, uh, our first uh, person trying to get the coal to Stephen Harper will be Sandy himself. So we'll see how quickly they uh, arrest Santa Claus. So it's kind of a, a fun, mischievous thing. But on the other hand, uh, you know, you have to think about the worst possible case, which would be probably 24 hours in, in jail and, and charges. The raging grannies feel that, uh, you know, if the young people are are risking <laughs> arrest, that, that it's good if we do that too. Just to, we probably have less to lose than, than they do. Uh, the objective is to hopefully get a lot of media out and then uh, there will be talk about it. There will be some coverage. The more coverage we have on this issue of Kyoto and the way Canada behaves right now in Bali, the better. Because um, I know many people know it, but I think it's not enough sinking in our role that we are playing there in Bali. And really, I feel atrocious. So therefore, Mr. Harper deserves to get the coal and no presents this year. <laughs> we might be arrested, but um, that's part of the game. Seven elves, seven stockings. The elves held up the stockings and raised the presents they were leaving Stephen high for everyone to see. Lumps of coal? It's climate chaos, Steve. It's already killing 150,000 people every year. Our workshops are sinking, and you are sabotaging climate talks in Bali. to the Kyoto Accord, not realizing, does he not realize that Canada, we Canadians, pollute so much more than those poor countries. I have to give the message to Mr. Harper and tell him indeed that he is not and he has to change his ways. And therefore, I have to come over. Maybe you have to help me. But, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. It's possible that uh, some people will spend some jail time, so um, in fact right after we do this I'm going to be making sure that the communication links are set up to bring people out to uh, do what we call uh, jail duty, which means having enough people at the jail so that uh, that these people won't be forgotten <laughs> if they end up there.